the fact that y'all get on each other's nerves, okay? I mean, you do not have to, uh, it does not have to be like a gladiator fight every time anybody says anything when it's the two of you. And we are back. Do me a favor right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit the like button. You know it helps us out. And if it helps us, it helps you so that we can continue to make this content for you. So go ahead and hit that like button for me. So we're going to pick up with the testimony of Antonio Sledge where we left off yesterday. There is considerable, there's a considerable amount left. But the main thing you want to focus on in this video is the acrimony between steel and love even the judge as you saw in the intro even the judge has picked up on it and she said look you all don't have to fight it out for every inch in this case but it seems like they have decided that that's what they want to do so we're going to take a look at it some of this we covered yesterday i'll put a time stamp down below if you want to skip the little bit that we covered yesterday and other than that thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's get into it that on the evening after donovan thomas was god forbid shot so it's june january 10th 2015 i'm that's the date i'm locking on okay yes you remember telling her that um You were at uh, Jeffrey's home. Yes. And Kenneth Copeland was there. Yes. Among other people. Yes. And Jeffrey was there. Yes. And at some time, Kenneth Copeland was receiving calls or received a call from the police saying that he was the suspect in this murder or the shooting of Donovan Thomas. Is that fair to say? Yes. And that Jeffrey or Mr. Copeland was asking, what do I do? Do you remember that? Yes. And Jeffrey said to Mr. Copeland, if you had nothing to do with the killing, you should go and talk to the police. Yes. And you told this attorney love that, right? Yes. In front of the Honorable Derek Wright, your lawyer. Yes. In front of, or I don't know if she's paying attention. I'm not saying she was, but the investigator was around. She was there. And do you remember District Attorney Love telling you that she would prefer if you don't state to the jury that Jeffrey told you to take Mr. Copeland to the police department if he was not involved in the murder? Yes. Did you ask why? No, I never asked why. Okay. Now, you also said, and it's the truth, and if yes. it's not, you correct it, that you were very close with Donovan Thomas. Yes. In fact, your relative, I think cousin, but tell the jurors if I'm wrong, dated Donovan Thomas's relative. Yes. And Donovan Thomas is close with your mother. Yes. And you told District Attorney Love that. Yes. Now, you were asked by District Attorney Love. whether you remember anything else anyone said regarding the murder of Donovan Thomas on the night of January 10th, 2015, going into January 11th, 2015. Do you remember that question by any chance? No, not actually. I don't remember that question. Okay. Do you remember Jeffrey being distraught? That's a bad word. Being upset or sad at the shooting of Mr. Thomas? Yes. Do you remember? Your Honor, I object. That calls for speculation. Rephrase. Do you remember ever seeing Jeffrey put out a post, rest yes, in peace, Honor, about I Mr. Donovan Thomas's death? I'm asking you to stop an improper question about 
putting facts not in evidence, Mr. Steele knew that that is putting facts not in evidence. And I would ask not only that the court strike the question, but admonish Mr. Steele to not put facts improperly, not in evidence before this jury. Okay. Can you ask some foundational questions, please? Sure. Your Honor, any post made by Defendant Williams. So you're not talking about that evening, are you? Yes, ma'am. I'm talking about the morning hours of January 11, 2015. We might need to take this up outside the presence of the jury. Well, I'll come back to it then. All right. Let me ask you some questions. In front of you is State's Exhibit Number 444Y there by any chance? It is the, it's entitled, it's on the letterhead of the Office of the Fulton County District Attorney. It's dated December 27, 2022. Do you see that document? Yes. And it should be seven pages long? Yes. Okay. If you can turn to page three of seven, I want to ask you some questions about this document. And this is the same document that you've been asked about by Ms. Love, by the Honorable Attorney Sharp, right? Yes. Okay. Now, at the time of entering this guilty plea, December 28th, right before New Year's of 2022, right after Christmas, right? Yes. All right. I want to go through the factual acknowledgments. And I'm specifically focusing on Jeffrey, okay? Yes. Number one, it's on page three of seven. Do you remember acknowledging and signing and the jurors heard your and watched your guilty plea before Judge Glanville? Yes. You saw that too, okay. Number one, Young Slime Life, a.k.a. YSL, is an organization made up of three or more members or associates who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors, hand signals, and terminology, who have committed crimes intended to increase notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of YSL. You see that? Yes. And that's, of course, your initial? Yes. The A and the S. Okay. Tell the ladies and gentlemen jury about Jeffrey. Focus on Jeffrey. What did Jeffrey benefit Objection. from any type? If Objection. Let me hear the question. All right. Don't answer the question yet, okay? I got you. What's the question? From your personal knowledge, when you sign this, tell the jury what Jeffrey benefited. That's outside from, of the witness's knowledge. From his personal observation, it's his acknowledgement that the state introduced. Well, they actually did not introduce these parts. They read this. They did. Um, rephrase your question. Okay. When you sign that, do you have any evidence to share with this jury no. that Jeffrey... No. <laughs> rephrase your question. Did Jeffrey, when you signed that, were you talking about Jeffrey Williams? No. Okay. Number one. I'm still on number one. I just read, okay? When you were sworn before Judge Glanville, sworn means um, you take an oath to tell the yeah. truth, okay? Remember yeah. that? Sentence? Yeah. You were asked questions, right? Yes. Did Prosecutor Love ever ask you, tell us what Jeffrey Williams did? No. Okay. At that point in time, you wanted to go home, right? Yes. You would have answered all questions. Objection right? one calls for speculation. Sustained. Number two on uh, page three of seven. Yes. States four, 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 why? It reads that you have been a member or, it says, and slash or associate of YSL since 2012, right? Yes. Now, you told the jury that anyone can join YSL. Is that true? Yes. I mean, if I just today said I want to get a tattoo of YSL on my face, is that a problem? No. Objection made, whether or not it's a problem. No. 
is there any type that you know about like beat in or initiation to say I'm with YSL? No. Do you know personally from your travels, from going to shows and concerts and tours, are people from all over America and throughout the world having tattoos of YSL? I seen a couple of fans, yes. Wearing shirts of YSL? Yes. Hats? Yes. Tattoos of Jeffrey on their person? Yes. On issue three of that same document, it should read, while associated with YSL and to support and express loyalty to YSL, you, co-defendant Mr. Garlington and Mr. Zachary, appeared in a video, and then there's a parenthesis that says the video, with another person, AS, wherein you brandished a weapon used in a drive-by shooting, and wherein on behalf of YSL, you threatened to harm a person named Kel, a rival gang member who had begun a relationship with your ex-paramour or girlfriend. You see that? Yes. Did, were you asked any questions about what Jeffrey knew about that? No. He knew nothing to your knowledge, Objection, right? Objection, Your Honor, speculation. Sustained. On your personal knowledge. Objection, it was still proper Did, on your personal knowledge, if, if you, did you ever speak with the prosecution? Did they ever want to know what did Jeffrey Williams know about that? Objection, one, that calls for speculation. Two, I can approach, Your Honor, because of that. Okay, I mean, it doesn't, that one does not call for speculation, but if you have some other issue, then I don't need to approach, Your Honor. I'm going to continue. I have an objection that I need to put on the record. Okay. I, I would rather not stop because that's all Ms. Love does. I'd rather continue. I'll wave that. Well, she, we're going to approach. All right, go ahead, Mr. Oh, wait, we're sorry. We need to get Mr. Sledge back in. Yes, ma'am. We can strike that. All right, go ahead, Mr. Steele. Mr. Sledge, on number three that we were just talking about. Yes. On the same document. Yes. Um, during your time before Judge Glanville entering the plea and Ms. Love was asking you questions. Yes. You saw the video audio of that as well. Yes. Did Ms. Love ever ask you anything about Jeffrey at that point? No. And you were under oath at that point? Yes. And you were going to answer questions if asked, right? Yes. Okay. I'd like to go to number four, same page. Yes. On or about April 28th, 2015, as reflected in Fulton County indictment number, and I'm not going to read it, but it ends in 8994. You know what I, you see what I did? Yes. I just skipped the first bunch of numbers and letters. You and fellow YSL associates, Mr. Garlington and Mr. Zachary committed a drive-by shooting using a firearm, the firearm that you wielded in the video referenced in part three of this section, targeting family members of a rival gang. You see that? Yes. Okay. And you initialed that, obviously. Yes. And um, again, did Miss Love ask you any questions on December 28, 2022, under oath in front of a court reporter on video audio about Jeffrey? No. Number five, same page, same document. You and your fellow YSL associates committed the drive-by shooting referenced in section three and four above on behalf of YSL and to increase the notoriety, reputation, and fear of YSL, okay? Yes. Um, were you asked anything on December 28, 2022 about Jeffrey? No. You would have answered questions asked, right? Yes. By this time, April 28, 2015, if you personally know, did Jeffrey um, launch a tour across the United States of America with Travis Scott? I, I think it was around that time. I'm not mistaken. I'm not for sure. You went on part of that tour? Did I go on board? 
Yes. I'm part of the tour. Yes. And you told the jurors what it's called. Do you remember what you called it? The rodeo tour. With the court's permission and your permission, I'd like to approach you with a document, okay? Yes. Your Honor, may I approach? You may. Ms. Winfrey, may I approach and get that document? I would allow you to know exactly what you do. I'm sure he'll uh, show you. Your Honor, this has already been shown. The state has been previously marked. Partially admitted as um, on 1 8 24, so it'll be January 8, 2024. It's Mr. Williams, exhibit number 19. All right, I'm not sure what you mean by partially admitted. Parts of it were admitted. Okay, are you going to admit yes. for the admission of the rest of it? Yes, I'm going to see if Mr. Sledge can identify it. All right. Yes. I'm going to show you um, an item, and I added that earlier, so that's just called an exhibit sticker. Yeah. But if you can look at that, you can open it up. Just tell me if you recognize it. And if it is accurate, if you don't recognize it, that's fine, and we will, uh, we're going to put it aside, okay? Yeah, I remember this. And um, what is that document, which I believe is number 19 of Jeffrey Williams? I won't. This is the uh, booklet. Put it down until it's admitted. Okay, I'm sorry. No, that's this, okay. This is the booklet of the tour on what days and what areas that we was in. Okay. And is it look to your memory to be accurate, meaning has it been changed in any way, has it been altered, or does it look similar to the way that you saw it um, when you went on that tour? It looked the same. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams. It's number 19. Your Honor, pursuant to 21801. For what purpose is this being offered? Um, the purpose of showing the cities and the states for the certain tour. And the dates? That's what it is. And That's all it is. It's there. That's the official tour guide to that tour. Okay, well, I may need to see it myself then because I don't know what okay, might approach. be problematic. Yes. Yes. Do you see any dates of that rodeo tour? Yes. And can you tell the ladies and gentlemen jury, just, just read it to them, if you don't mind, the date and the city? Of the tour. Oh, uh, wait. From the, the top. The entirety of the tour dates? Sure. Do you want to just post that page? Um, I don't have it on. Uh... Okay. Your Honor, also, yes. um, this witness's um, basis for knowledge of the specific dates, um, we would object unless. There is a foundation laid for that. Okay. Well, he said he went on parts of this tour and was familiar with the tour. Mr. Slate, overruled. do you feel comfortable doing that? And if not, just... Yes, I can I can read you the dates and... Actually, Your Honor, may I approach? You may. May I approach you, sir? Yes. Would you mind if I, if I read along with you? Yes. Okay. Can you just tell me... If you could put it down, I don't have very good eyes. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to start here, okay? Yes. Saturday, February 28, 2015. Yes. Santa Ana, California. Yes. March 15. Sunday, March 15. March 1, 2015. You see that? Yes. Santa Ana, California show day. Yes. Monday, March 2nd, Tucson, Arizona show day. Yes. Yes. Um, I don't know if there's a question, um, and I would object to Mr. Stewart. Could, could we maybe give a summary of it? 
Okay. Then the next one is the next day. It's a travel day, right? Yes. And then it's March 4th, 2015. Denver, Colorado show. Yes. And then I'm skipping. March 6th, 2015, Milwaukee, Wisconsin show. Yes. So this is he's, he's confirming the dates. I mean, he's Mr. Steele is not testifying, so that's overruled. Saturday, March 7, 2015, Chicago, Illinois. Yes. Show day in Rochester, New York as well. Yes. Sunday, March 8, 2015, Chicago, Illinois, a show day. Yes. Monday, March 9, 2015, Detroit, Michigan, a show day. Yes. Tuesday, March 10, 2015, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, a show day. Yes. Wednesday, March 11, 2015, Buffalo, New York, a show. Yes. Thursday, March 12, 2015, New York, New York, a show. Yes. Or a concert. What month are you going to get to before the... Let's just ever with. I mean, is there, can we just say there were show dates pretty much constantly between X date and Y date? Sure. It goes up to, is it fair to say, consistently through April 3, 2015. Is that true? Yes. And the cities that we left off at include Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes. Washington, D.C. Yes. Norfolk, Virginia. Yes. Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. The great city of Atlanta, great state of Georgia. Yes. New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes. Austin, Texas. Yes. San Marcos, Texas. Yes. Houston, Texas. Yes. Dallas, Texas. Yes. Phoenix, Arizona. Yes. San Diego, California. Yes. Los Angeles, California. Yes. San Francisco, California. Yes. Seattle, Washington. Yes. Portland, Oregon. Yes. Boise, Idaho. Yes. Travel home. Yes. Okay. Now, and if you need to see it, just let us know. Now, court report. Okay. Knowing Jeffrey Williams since about 2009 when you were released from prison. Yes. And seeing him on tour throughout our country. How much time did he spend committing crimes Objection. on Cleveland Avenue? Objection. Holy improper and speculation and speaking as to a legal <coughs> conclusion committing crimes that this witness should not sustain. Did District Attorney Love he was having you, or you agreed, sign that on April 28, 2015, it's number five, that this drive-by shooting on April 28, 2015, was done on behalf of YSL to increase the notoriety, reputation, and fear of YSL how many questions did she ever ask you at that time you were entering the plea sworn under oath about Jeffrey Williams? The number of questions that were or were not asked about a specific defendant. It's irrelevant how many times he was asked. The jury has seen what happened and what he was asked. Sustained. <laughs> By April of 2015, how wildly popular from your personal observation was Jeffrey Williams? Ever ruled. Very popular. When you went to all of these cities throughout America with Jeffrey, how many fans would come? Objection, speculation, and relevance. I mean, if he can estimate it, overruled on relevance. Twenty to thirty thousand, a lot of people. Okay. Were these concerts held in arenas? Yes.
Number six, it's on page three, it goes into page four, okay? Same document. Page six. Going into, it's number six, it's on oh. the bottom of page three, okay, yeah. same document. It's yes. going to go into the next page, okay? Yes. You admitted committing and was convicted of aggravated assault and participation in criminal street gang activity among other charges, and it goes on to the next page, for your participation in the drive-by shooting, and it says reference in three, four, and five above, meaning the April 28, 2015, right? Yes. Okay. Number seven, it says that you were told by another YSL associate that immediately after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL associates met at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia, to discuss the murder, right? Yes. Did anyone ever ask you any evidence that Jeffrey was at the McDonald's? Um, improper question as to evidence. Did, did anyone ever ask? Sustained. Did Miss Love, on December 28th of 2022, ask you, was Jeffrey at the McDonald's? Oh, that's overruled. Okay, so the entirety of the plea transcript is not actually in there. Um, I don't know. What number are we on right now? Six? Seven. Seven? Yes. So. Seven is in there. Okay, but we don't have the entirety of it overruled. Did, did District Attorney Love ask you, on December 28th of 2002, was Jeffrey at the McDonald's? No. You have any evidence that Jeffrey was at this McDonald's? Sustained. Do you know, personally, or what you were told is reference in number seven, was Jeffrey at this McDonald's? No. Number eight. You personally know that one or more YSL associates committed the murder of Donovan Thomas on behalf of Jeffrey. That's what you signed, right? Yes. Okay. Do you have any personal knowledge that Jeffrey Williams committed the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? No. In any fashion? No. You know what a party to a crime is? You know what that means? Overruled. Yes. Was Jeffrey... Do you have any information? I mean, I'm sorry, sustained. Sorry. You oh, may not ask that question. Your sister so. feels like, yes. <laughs> sorry, my bad. My bad. He said, <laughs> oh, <"Overruled."> Sorry. <laughs> All right, number nine. You see where I am, number nine? Yes. <laughs> January 10th, 2015. After the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., you and other YSL associates gathered at the home of Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, who gave you and other YSL associates cash money to lay low. You see that? Yes. You already told the jury, you made it clear that Jeffrey did give you $300. True? Yes. Because you feared for the safety of yourself and your family, right? Yes. Did anybody um, fire weapons, bullets into your home where you were living on June 10th, 2015, or the 11th, or the 12th, or the 13th? No. And then um, even after you, um, you received these, I think you called it anonymous um, statements that, that you and Mr. Copeland killed Donovan Thomas, you, you used some word. I, it was from an account in social media. Yes. What was what was your word? The DM. Yeah. Was it from a? What'd you say? A, a fake page. Fake page. Okay. When you got that though, you made it clear that that bothered you because you didn't want anything to happen to your significant other, or your child, or anybody, right? Yes. Including yourself. Yes. And you didn't have money at that time because you lost money gambling. Is that true? Yes. And um, you asked Jeffrey, and he gave you money for a hotel, right? Yes. 
And the expression lay low, I know you said it was to get your family members out of harm's way. I think that's what you said. Yes. But lay low could mean the same, doesn't it? Yes. It wasn't any type of lay low from the police or anything, right? No. It was be safe. Yes. Do you have any information, personal knowledge, to share with the jury that Jeffrey gave any money to anyone as a reward for killing Donovan Thomas? Objection, Your Honor. That would call for speculation and hearsay as reward part. Overruled. And I actually mean overruled. Besides. No. I'm going to go to number 10, if you don't mind. Same document, page 4 that you have personal knowledge that on January 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas, YSL Associates traveled to Miami, Florida with co-defendant and YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, AKA Young Thug. I wanna to talk to you about that, okay? Yes. Now you made it clear that you knew that Jeffrey Williams was already going to Miami, Florida for a video music shoot. Is that, when I say shoot, filming it, is that true? Yes. And you knew that this was already set up before January 10th, 2015, right? Yes. And you knew other people were allowed to go if they wanted to. Yes. That Jeffrey was generous. He would take people outside of that Sustained, rephrase. Jeffrey Williams gave people the opportunity to leave Cleveland Avenue area and see other parts of America. Is that true? As to relevance of whether or not Mr. Williams gave anybody else an opportunity to do something. Sustained. Mr. Williams gave you opportunity to go, right? Yes. And others. Yes. Objection, Your oh. Honor. Was there anything that on the 28th day of December 2022 that you were asked as to why this was somehow criminal, that Jeffrey had this meeting, this work in Miami, Florida? Sustained. Were you asked, were you asked any questions by District Attorney Love, Judge Glanville, or anyone whether that going down to Miami, Florida, um, was not pre-planned? No. Okay. Number 11 says that you did not murder Donovan Thomas Jr. and you're not a party to that crime. That's true, right? Yes. Number 12, that you did not murder Mr. Drinks and not party to a crime. True? Yes. Okay. Number 13 on the bottom of that page, it says, you cannot truthfully assert that the persons charged in this indictment with the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. are not guilty of murder, and you will make no attempt at trial, prior to trial or after trial, to exonerate the persons charged in this indictment with the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. You see that? Yes. Okay. Now you've, you've read this indictment. You've had it because you were charged in this case. Is that true? Yes. Are you familiar still with this indictment? Yes. Okay. Well, if you need it with the court's permission, I have a copy if you need to see it. But you're not charged with the murder of Donovan Thomas in this indictment, are you? No, not in this indictment. Okay. And you're not, and Jeffrey's not charged with the murder of Donovan Thomas in this indictment, right? No. You're not charged with the murder of Mr. Drinks in this indictment, are you? No. And Jeffrey's not charged with the murder of Mr. Drinks? No. If you go to page five. It's the top of page number 14, the gas station at 151 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia. 
is one of multiple locations where YSL associates sell drugs and do not allow other gangs to operate. You see that? Yes. And then I'm just grouping it together because they look um, similar to me. So if they're not, you just correct me. Number 15, the gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is another location where YSL associates sell drugs and do not permit other gangs to operate. Right? Yes. Were you ever asked any questions about Jeffrey selling drugs at either of these items? I, I object on the grounds that Mr. Steele has no good faith basis for asking that question, given the fact that the entirety, he does have the entirety of what was asked, and he does know the entirety of what was asked. And so, therefore, one, it's not relevant, but two, he doesn't even have a good faith basis for asking. So if we want to get in the entirety of what was asked, I would ask that the court just simply, if he wants that in, to have him tender it, but not to ask questions that he knows he doesn't have a good faith basis to ask. I don't know what that means. It was not asked, and I'm asking the gentleman whether he was ever asked that. On the record, off the record, it's not there. Okay. Um I don't know if you meant on the record or off the record, but um, I'm going to permit it. Go ahead. That have anything to do with Jeffrey? No. Were you asked anything from no. District Attorney Love when she had you under oath in a courtroom with your lawyer before Judge Glanville? No. Number 15. You have personal knowledge that you and other members of YSL have either participated in directly committed or at least one of the following crimes in order to increase notoriety and reputation of YSL murder, armed robbery, aggravated assault, attempted murder, theft, illegal gun possession, and illegal drug and sales. Were you ever asked anything about Jeffrey on December 28, 2022 when you entered this plea? No. Now, you have been prosecuted before this case, by prosecutor, I mean you've been arrested, charged, and brought before a judge, right? Yes. Okay. Have you ever, in your experience, have you ever been told that your plea agreement is conditioned on what you say at a trial? No. Have you ever been told by a prosecutor that she'd prefer you not say things in front of a jury. Your Honor, I object on the basis of relevance and relevance. Relevance and what? I'm sorry, did you say something else? Yes, I, the question was, have you ever been told by a prosecutor something? So I object on the basis of relevance I'll stop there. Mr. Steele, would you like to address that? Sure. It goes to the motivation, interest, and bias of the district attorney in this case. Well, that's not an issue. It always is an issue. Telling the, a witness the bias not to of do this so. witness, maybe. Is that what you mean to say? It's a party opponent. No, sir, that's not how that works. Okay. So if that's your only justification for it, then granted. I mean, sustained. <laughs> okay. I want to talk with you about some items. When you met Jeffrey, he was approximately 17 years of age. Is that fair to say? Yes. And it's about 2009. Yes. And the way you remember 2009 is because you um, were in prison and then was released in about 2009. Is that true? Yes. And then you went over um, and found a um, place to live on Cleveland Avenue. Yes. So you met people who were in that area. Is that fair to say? Yes. And Jeffrey was at times in that area, right? Yes. Did you observe Jeffrey working hard? Objection, Faye. Okay. Sustained. I'll, did you observe Jeffrey 
um, practicing his craft, art, music. Yes. Did you see him in the studio? You ever see him in the studio? Yes. And is it fair to say that when you first saw him, to however long you've known him, he is um, a workaholic, meaning he works all the time? I think on relevance sustained. He, you've seen him in studios in the morning time? Yes. Afternoons? Yes. Nights? Yes. Evenings? Yes. You mentioned on direct examination that Jeffrey idolized Lil Wayne. You remember saying that? Yes. And that there was this, these are my words, so you correct me. There's almost this, this belief, this feeling that Jeffrey had that he, he had to make it out. Sustained. You said on direct examination, meaning when you were questioned by Miss Love, that you believed, you believed that Jeffrey was going to objection, be a objection, popular objection as to one relevance of the witness's belief about something he may have speculated about regarding defendant Williams. All right, I don't know because I haven't heard the question. Could you tell me what the question is? Sure, be? and it came out on direct that there was a belief by Mr. Sledge that Jeffrey was going to be a successful musical artist. Okay. And Way back when. What's, what's your question going to be? That, I'm going to follow that up. That that was, and that was his drive. That was Jeffrey's mission, his drive. Objection, that would be speculation as to Defendant Williams' intent. And no, no, he's asking about this witness's belief about that. But that's irrelevant. Okay. All right. Now. Have you ever observed anyone or have you observed Jeffrey um, when you first met him? When you, you got out of prison, I think, May 2009, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Um, he played in a lot of first local clubs, is that right? Yes. And when I say local clubs, in the area of Atlanta. Yes. And then you saw it go a bigger Location is that true? Yes. And then multiple states. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. This oh, is his Lord. career. Go ahead. Yes. And people, including you, you supported Jeffrey's musical career, didn't Objection you? Objection as to that compound question because it calls for speculation as to people supporting um, Defendant Williams. And it's not it's his personal observation. Okay. Sustained on other people and sustained on re relevance. Would, would you observe, meaning did you personally observe the local community in Cleveland Avenue come out to Jeffrey's shows? Sustained. Would you see people, including yourself, put up signs that Jeffrey's performing. Sustained. Move on to another topic. All the people that you were asked about, remember being asked about Trontavious Stevens? Yes. And Mr. Murphy? Yes. Mr. Murphy and um, Mr. Copeland? Yes. And um, whoever you were asked about, okay? Yes. All those people were in poverty at the same time you and Jeffrey were, right? Objection calls for speculation, and it is irrelevant, and it is compound as it relates to at the same time you and Jeffrey, and it assumes facts that are not in evidence. Sustained. Were you in poverty in 2009 when you met Jeffrey? Overruled. 
Could you repeat the question, Mr. Steele? Yes, sir. Were you um, poor? Were you struggling financially in 2009 when you got out of prison? Yes. All those other people that you asked about on direct, were they struggling to your observation? Yes. Financially. Jeffrey gave you a job, right? Yes. And by that job, you called yourself, and I'm not saying that was not your title, but... Overruled. You were called head of security, right? Yes. And by that, what that meant was that you would assist others in right, locating. We've established what it meant. I'm sorry? We have established on direct what it meant, what his duties were. You, you would assist in any capacity needed to put on these shows. Yes. And you got paid by direct deposit, it's called. Is that what you, and if you don't know that term? Yes. You got a, a bank yeah. deposit. Yeah, transfer, yeah. I, okay. And to your knowledge, Jeffrey offered other people jobs, too, from your area. To not your knowledge. if he says to your knowledge. That makes it not speculation. Overruled. Overruled. Could you repeat it, Mr. Steele? Yes, sir. To your knowledge, Jeffrey would give other job opportunities to other people, too, right? Yeah. Yes. So instead of giving money... You knew Jeffrey had money by 2014, right? Yes. And he was flying on planes, right? Yes. He had cars, right? Yes. He had places to live. Yes. He had multiple places to live. Yes. He had jewelry. I, I mean, I think you've made your point, so just move on to the next question. But instead of giving just cash to people, he gave people opportunity to earn that money, right? Yes. Oh. Okay. Now, do you have any evidence to tell this jury that Jeffrey ever told you or anyone else to harm another person? No. To your knowledge, and I am not including drugs, drug use, and I'm not including um, gambling. But to your knowledge, did Jeffrey ever endorse, endorse um, you know what? Um, encourage? I, apparently, we need to take a restroom break, so let's break for a few minutes. Let's try to keep this one to 10 minutes or so. All right, y'all, we just took a fairly long recess an hour ago. I'm going to remind y'all to please, whether you have to right then or not, use the restroom during recesses so that we don't then have to take another bathroom break less than an hour later. Okay, I'm going to just start making y'all hold it if you can't do that because we take plenty of breaks without interrupting the middle of somebody's testimony. Okay. So keep that in mind for the future, please. Mr. Sledge, when you were um, permitted to go on the Travis Scott rodeo tour? Yes. For the dates that the jurors heard? Yes. Okay, on generally some of the dates, could you rephrase it? Sure. Do you remember on direct examination when questioned by Prosecutor Love, you explained that you went on the rodeo tour with Jeffrey Williams and others? Yes. And do you remember telling the jury that you actually were sent home before the tour ended? Do you remember that? Yes. And you said for doing stupid stuff. Do you remember that? 
Yes. And that stupid stuff was committed to crime, right? Well, I didn't commit a crime, but. Okay. But it was to that occasion. And uh, Jeffrey said you and others are going home. True. Oh my God. Sustained. Why did, were you sent home? Objection, ask him to answer. Who sent you home? Jeffrey. Okay. I'd like to show you with the court's permission, um, I'd like to approach and show you what I've marked as Jeffrey William exhibit number 220A. And it's consecutive, meaning it goes in 220B. Yes. But it goes up to JW exhibit 220XX. Yes. Your Honor, may I approach? You may. No, he's going to. No. That's... Yeah. May I approach? You may. You may approach? Yes. Sir. Do you mind if I just move this? I'm going to give this to the court for it, okay? Yes. So it says JW, Jeffrey Williams, EXH is exhibit, and then you'll see the numbers followed by a letter. Do me a favor, flip through these. If you've seen these before with your lawyer uh, and you recognize them, just tell us that. Well, if you don't recognize some, put it to one side. If you recognize others, put it to a separate pile, okay? Your Honor, and the question was, if you've seen them before with your lawyer, that wasn't, I thought, the question that the court required. If you've seen them before today. If I've seen them before today? Yeah, you may have seen them today. So if the only time you ever saw them was today, then put it aside as something you've never seen. What he means is if you saw it before today. Is that right, Mr. Steele? Yeah, yesterday, okay. Your Honor. If you saw it before yesterday. That's when he gave it to him. Okay. Yesterday. Before yesterday. If you saw it before yesterday. Mr. Sledge, I just want to ask you a question if I can. I'm not trying to interrupt you. Any of them that you saw put in one pile like you're doing? Any ones you didn't see put in another pile like you're doing? Okay, just keep them separate. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. And then I know where you might be confused. It's going to be a composite exhibit, and they'll, he will publish to the extent this witness says he recognizes any of them, a, a smattering of those, not the entirety of them. Yes. Okay, Mr. Sledge. Um, did you make two piles or one pile? One pile. And um, do you recognize what has been marked as Jeffrey Williams exhibit number 222A through 22, excuse me, that's wrong, 220A through 220XX or do not recognize them? I recognize them. Your Honor, the question was whether or not he saw them before yesterday and that was not asked, so I would okay. ask that that be inquired. Let's clarify, please. Have you seen those uh, items, all of them, in that package um, prior to seeing them with your lawyer yesterday? Uh, I didn't see these with my lawyer yesterday, but I have seen these before. In the past? Yes. Before yesterday? Before yesterday, yes. Okay. And are they true and accurate? That's just saying, do they um, look the way that you remember them when you first saw them? Yes. Did you see them, uh, those items, contemporaneously? That's a bad word. Did you see them at the time that, that these items were going on? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, I move for the admission of Mr. Williams, and that would be, Your Honor, um, 2220A, as in Elisa, through 220, then double X. All right. That's admitted. Okay. Um, Mr. Sledge, may I, with the court's permission, may I just approach you? And I'm just going to show a couple yes. to the jurors as a sample. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir.
Now, Mr. Sledge, is it fair to say that these exhibits, and I, I've numbered them all, but that they're all advertisements or posters for Jeffrey's work, concerts? Yes. And is it fair to say that they range from um, places all over the United States? Yes. And when I say range from, shows, concerts all over the United States. Is that yes. True? Yes. And, and the date range goes from, this is just from um, 2014 into 2015. Fair yes. to say? Yes. Okay. And um, if we could just pull up a couple, and this would be with Mr. Kokomo's and the court's permission. Jeffrey Williams exhibit number 220DD. And it should come up on your screen, Mr. Sledge. It could be, or it's maybe to your left, but yes, it's above you too. Yeah, I think that one might be out of batteries that's on the. Yeah, side. that's indeed. Mr. Kokomo, can you clear the um, items on the middle of the screen? It appears that there's some encryption, Fulton County, on all of the computers. So I'm not sure if there's anything that can be done. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, may, may I approach, Your Honor? You may. Let me just show you this to you. Mr. Sledge, may I approach you? Yes. I'm going to show you what's been admitted, Mr. Williams, your JW Exhibit 220DD. Take a peek at that. And is this um, a performance in Chicago, Illinois? Yes. And is it, do you recognize those performers? Yes. Tell the jurors who they are. Birdman and Rich Homer Corn. And uh, anybody else? Jeffrey Wood. Okay. And this is the date. Do you see the date? Yes, December 26th. And uh, Christmas time? Yes. 2015? Yes. All right. <clears throat> to your knowledge and observation, and if Got you it. don't have one. Yes. yes. I, I do not see. I do not see, and so I would ask for clarification, if the testimony is that there is a 2015 on this exhibit that oh, I'm looking God. at, because there is no year of 2015, as Mr. Still has suggested, unless I'm missing it. If you could just show me, I'd be okay. First of all, <laughs> yes. It comes from the state of Georgia when they subpoenaed Mr. Williams' Twitter account for 2014 and 15, okay. A and B. Your Honor. If I go through all of them, you can see the dates in order. Your Honor, there is no... T I, I mean, I, I think that the objection was that the date might not be, the year date might not be on this one, and I, I don't see it on there either, so... All right. But well, if... But he's already testified that the entirety of that composite exhibit shows dates from 2014 to 2015. So it's one or the other. Your Honor, his, but it, there is a difference that matters. It's a distinction with a difference because okay. what Mr. Steele is putting up is a picture of Defendant Williams with a young man whom evidence has come out did not associate with Defendant Williams now I have after a, a particular time. Okay. Now I have a motion. All right. So um, we'll take up the motion in just a minute. With regard to this particular exhibit, I don't see a date on it either. Is there a date on it of a year? If not, maybe I'll pick a different name. exhibit. That's fine. And Your Honor, can my motion be preserved this time? Yes. May I approach? Yes. All right. Mr. Slate, may I approach you? Yes. Let's just flip an exhibit here. How about the next exhibit? Jeffrey Williams exhibit number 220EE. Okay? It says December 31st, well, 2015. Let, let the jurors see it first. Oh, okay. there it is. Okay. All right. Go ahead. You can look. It's the same. It says December 31st, 2015. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Year and NYE. Do you know that stands for New Year's Eve? E, yes. 2015? Yes. And did that come, this 220EE, come shortly after, immediately after 220DD of Jeffrey Williams' exhibit? Yes. And this one, again, the date on 220DD is in Chicago, and it is on... 26th. Thank you. Tell the jurors. December 26th. 
And does this help you orient that December 26 on 220DD is 2014? No. Okay. Does it help you with 220EE is the date New Year's Eve going into 2015? Yes. And who is performing on New Year's Eve, December 31, 2014, going into December, excuse me, January 1st, 2015? Who are the performers? Jeffrey Williams, Birdman, and Rich Omicron. Okay. Thank you. So, Your Honor, regarding the, the objection as to the year of 220DD, uh -huh. um, I believe that Mr. Steele said the year was December 26, 2015, and that was where the issue was. I'm, I'm asking if and now it's understood that it's 2014, if we could. I don't know that we have that understanding because well, we don't have evidence that, I mean, I realize these are handed to the witness in a particular order, but I don't know that there's any evidence to suggest that the order that they're in is a chronological one. So we still don't have any evidence as to which of the two years that other one was. We just know that this one that we're looking at right now, 220 EE, is for a concert date, December 31st of 2015, with those performers. Yes, Sean, thank you. Did you want to ask him about another? Yes, Your Honor. When you go through these, or you've gone through this, Mrs. Slater. Yes. I made performances, and the jurors will have that exhibit out with them. They'll be able to look at it. Are those performances all over the United States? Yes. Okay. I'd like to, did your lawyer show you um, any potential exhibits yesterday or today? He showed them to me today. Then I shouldn't have said yes. I apologize. All right. Um, I'm going to approach with a screenshot. If you need to see the actual potential exhibit, just say I don't recognize the screenshot, okay? Yes. Your Honor, I'm showing Mr. Williams number 46, 47, and 49. Right. These are videos, but I was doing it this way, but if needed, Your Honor, Mr. Kokomo. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Sledge, um, did you note the two basketball players in that screenshot? Yes. And um, do you know them to be professional players? Yes. And were they doing something similar to what you were asked to show the jurors? Yes. I'd like to show you Mr. Williams number 47. Do you know who that person is? Well, wait. Uh, can you tell the jurors, please, into the microphone? Raw Wade. And who is Mr. Wave? He's a rapper, an entertainer. And that's W-A-V-E. And at the beginning, did you notice that young lady behind Mr. Wave? No. Okay. Look at, look at the young lady right behind her, right there. Oh, yeah, I see it right there, no. And is that similar to what you showed the jurors? Yes. And then 49, Mr. Williams, 49? Do you remember discussing with the jurors that um, you've seen Nickelodeon slime? Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. This is going to be Jeffrey Williams, number 49. <laughs> 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 And um, did you hear, do you recognize that person as a professional football player? Yes. Do you know who that person is? I don't forget a name, but. Okay. And um, was it the, similar to the wiping of the nose that you were asked a lot of questions about or some questions about earlier? Yes. And did you hear him say slime? Yes. Tell the jurors, um, what is, why is slime significant? to YSL? Oh, uh, could you... Is it evil? 
No. Okay. And the wiping of the nose, is that evil? No. I'd like to uh, talk with you about a posting that you were shown. And I forget the state's exhibit number. Give me one second. Your Honor, it's already in evidence. Can I um, discuss with Mr. Sledge number 435? Sure. And that's state's exhibit, Your Honor. Yes. 435Y, right? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm being told. Do you remember this, Mr. Sledge, being uh, played this? I'm going yes. to play, I'm going to ask the uh, court to allow it to be played one more time by Mr. Knight, and then um, I'd like to ask you some questions, okay? Yes. You lie to your kids, you lie to your mama, but you get in the courtroom and in the investigation room and tell them punk ass people the God honest motherfucking truth. Puss ass. Now, Mr. Sledge, you told the district attorney when questioning that this is not a new statement. Do you remember something like that? Yes. And <clears throat> Had you heard this before from growing up, from where? Uh, growing up, just, I have heard it before though. Okay. Have you seen it and listened to it or read it on the internet? I think I have seen it on the internet. And um, you related this and you made this um, statement for, which is now memorialized as State's Exhibit 435Y. Um, do you remember what was going on at that moment? No. Okay. I'd like to show you what's already in evidence, um, and it's the state's exhibit number. Do you have Jeffrey Williams? Making, what number is that? I'd like to show you 447. Why? Your Honor, it's already in evidence. All right. May we publish it? You may. Thank you. So, nigga, a lot of they mama, a lot of they kids, a lot of they brothers and sisters, they ain't get ready in the courtroom to tell the God that it's true. Fuck, nigga. Don't get it. Y'all think need to get fucking killed, bro. You snitching bitches. From me and why I said. Were you able to hear that, Mr. Sledge? Yes. And was that, you were asked if that was your voice uh, by the district attorney on direct examination. Do you remember that? Yes. And your response was something effective, it sounds like you. Yes. Okay. Um, do you remember the date that was made? No, I don't remember the date. I'd like to ask you if you remember the other persons who are speaking in that video, okay? Yes. And do you, was it Jeffrey Williams speaking? Yes. Right. And was he the one seen on the video? Yes. And um, was it Martinez Arnold speaking? Yes, that's what it sounded like. All right. And was the other person Mr. McMiller? Yes. That's Mr. McMiller? Yes. All right. Now, I'd like to ask you if you can hear and listen to the very beginning of uh, State's Exhibit number 437Y. Yes. Excuse me, 447Y. I'd like to ask you if you can hear at the very beginning, does it say, I'm a, I'm a swear to God, it's the truth, I'm going to tell a lie on God. I want you to listen, okay, if it okay. says that. Okay. So, nigga, a lot of they mama, a lot of they kids, a lot of they brothers and sisters. Did you hear the beginning of that? Yes. And if you want headphones, the judge may allow that. The Honorable Judge Whitaker may allow that. But we able to hear the person speaking? Yes. That begin part. And did they say, I'm going to swear to God, it's the truth, I'm going to tell a lie on God? Yes. Who oh. said that? Hang on. Never mind. Yes, no. Okay. Who said that? I think that was, it, it sounded like my voice. Right. But, yes. Okay. So at the beginning of this video, audio, um, is it fair to say that you're talking about going to swear to God to tell the truth and then tell a lie on God? Yes. Was this video 
something about people who lie? Yes. Even though they're under oath? They don't, they don't have to be on the oath to tell a lie. Okay. Now, the next part that I'd ask Miss Knight, the Honorable Miss Knight, to play should be Jeffrey speaking. And it's similar to what you said in the video we just saw. Okay. Does Jeffrey say, and listen to this, okay? <clears throat> so, and, and I'm just saying, N, lie to their mama, lie to their kids, lie to their brothers and sisters, and get right in the courtroom to tell the God's honest truth. If you can just listen to that and tell me if that's what you hear Jeffrey say, okay? Yes. So, nigga, a lot of their mama, a lot of their kids, a lot of their brothers and sisters, they ain't get ready in the courtroom to tell the God that it's true. Fuck, nigga. Was that Jeffrey speaking? Yes. And is that similar to what you said on the um, other exhibit, which is escaping me, the exhibit number? 435Y, State's Exhibit. Is that yes. similar? Yes. And are those words that you said are similar words that you've heard before? Yes. Did you hear those words before Jeffrey said those words? Yes. And then on the next part of it, I'm not going to say it, but it's FN. Ain't going back and forth with you, bro. And then Jeffrey saying, or then another person saying, um, tell nothing but the truth, so help you God, if you can listen to that, okay? Yes. And tell the jurors who's saying that. Yes. Don't get it. Y'all think you get fucking killed, bro. You snitching bitches. It's true. Thank you. God, that is true. Don't get it. Y'all think you get fucking killed, bro. You dog. You snitching bitches. From me and why I said. Okay. Did you hear that? Tell, yeah. no, tell nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Is it accurate to say that in the criminal justice system, from your, from your upbringing and your observation, people come in and lie under oath? Objection, Your Honor. That would call for speculation about other people. He says from your observation. Of course, I don't know how he can know that. Can know it so. <laughs> from personal experience. It's a speculation <laughs> until there's a foundation established for his ability to answer that. A basis for knowledge. Just speculation about other people lying. You can try to lay a foundation. When you said this in when you were part of this, and when I say this, I'm talking about stage 447Y, what's up there right now? Yes. Tell the jurors what, what you were talking about. Talking about people lying. Okay. Now, I want to show you, you know, I may have one moment. You may. You know, can Mr. Kokomo show the prosecutor? This will be Mr. Williams. Exhibit number 255. Okay. So, Your Honor, I'm looking at 62 pages. Um, are we talking about 62 pages? That's what that's what this is. I'll shorten it, but I just did the, the dates from the... That's the same 255 that we looked at before. No, we cut No, out. it's a different... Yeah, we stopped in July 2015. Okay, and... It starts, I think, December or November 2012. Okay. And you were just going to pick a couple yes, of pages. I'm not going to go through six. Can we, is it possible to have them just specify which two so I can look at those? Or do I need to look at 62 and show it to Mr. Sledge first, obviously. And then we could do that. Do you know which ones you're going to use? No, because Mr. Sledge has to identify. Okay. I mean, you know generally what. Yeah. I'll use the one from two. November 2012, I believe, and I'll look at it, but there'll be two or three. That'll be it. I mean, this is the same thing we looked at over lunch. It, 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 um, it appears 
to be um, all 62 pages. Yeah, so, now I know. Well, it's not, I, I'm, it's not accurate. It took out after July 15th. Okay. Well. That's what, but I didn't want to cut it short for the Mr. Sledge to look at, but then I was going to just, once he identifies a few, I was going to stop. So, okay. So, can you come up here for a minute? Mr. Sledge? Yes. We are going to trim down um, some of those items for you. Yes. For, for me. Um, and we're going to get back to that, okay? I yes. Will not, I will not, uh, I promise you I'll come back to it. Yes. Um, if the state can show again Mr. Williams' number and of two, uh, what number is it, Jeffrey Williams? 447Y. And if you can just look at it with me for a moment, if you don't mind. Now, do you see at the bottom, if any way to clear the, um, thank you. Do you see at the bottom, um, it says repost, with yes. that? Yes. And then it says, um, it's tagging at thugger, thugger one, you see that? Yes. Do you know what a repost is? Someone else posted it and it was posted for to some, uh, somebody else post. So for an example, if I posted something a week ago and you liked it and you wanted to post it, what would happen? I hit the repost app and it'll let me repost it okay. on another date. So the state was saying that this was done and um, shown and reposted on January 26, 2015. Yeah. Do you remember that in the indictment? Hang on just a second. Object as to the characterization of that question. The test. Okay. Yes. I mean, the state would have asked a question and established that through a witness. Okay. It's in the it's in the indictment as well. And if you're not familiar, do you remember this being in the okay, indictment? Okay. Well, that's just an assertion. Exactly. So, I want to show you. Um, are you ready? What number is it? Actually, can you show it to the prosecution first? <laughs> Now, can Mr. Kokomo approach Mr. Sledge? Yes. Mr. Sledge, is that okay? Yes. Just take a look at this, tell me whether you can recognize it, and you can hear it as well just to make sure, but don't make it loud enough for the jurors yet. So, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes. Prior to... Um, that being displayed what we have not heard is the sound in that video because this is the first time we've seen it so right. we'd ask that before anything be done with it the state be allowed an opportunity to hear what is being said in that particular video which is a little different i don't know if it's different or not it is i'm looking at it, it is not the same exact thing that we okay. just put up Okay, then I guess this will be where we break for the evening. Yeah, it's 11 seconds. I mean, if that matters. Well, or we can see if Miss Love can hear it without. <laughs> Do you want to step out into the hall? That would be easier than excusing all of them to yes. the. Yes. All right, she'll be right back. We'll sit for just a sec, and I'll let y'all go soon. Go with your computer. And Mr. Steele, um, estimate for me how long you think the rest of your cross is going to be. Um, Thirty minutes. Okay. Do y'all want to stay for? Who else has? If anybody has going to have cross for this witness, anybody? Okay. Okay. Do you want to just, well, 
Do you want to stay 30 more minutes? Although we'll have a redirect on Monday, but yes, I have some thumbs up for 30 minutes. Lots of nods for there. Okay. The only issue I just want to make the court on the uh, <laughs> on the six <laughs> on the sixty two. Yeah. Item. That's the only thing I have to go over, which is going to take a little more time. So I just want you to. I won't finish. Is my point. All right. Well, we'll go thirty more minutes, and then we'll see what where we are. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Then I guess he's already seen it. So yes. go ahead and ask whatever you need to ask. Mr. Sledge, have you seen what is now marked as Mr. Williams number 256? Have you seen that before? Yes. And is it accurate? And does it depict the way it was when it was first filmed or yeah, filmed and audioed? Yes. Any? Yeah, I, oh. I, two things. I object on the basis of the vagueness of the question. Have you seen it before? I don't know if that means before he was shown by his... Well, Lawyer. can you clarify that? Were you present when that was made? Yes, I was present. Is your, is your voice on there? Yes, my voice is on there. Is it the same as, and I always forget, 447? Oh. 447Y that was shown to the jury as the repost? Yes, my voice on there. Okay. 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 So on 256, JW256, is, is that what you were just asking the questions about he was present for? Okay. All right. With Are there, that, I have no okay. objection if he's saying he was there. All right. Go ahead. Um, Your Honor, with the court's permission, Mr. Kokomo will publish Mr. Williams number 256. All right. A lot of their kids, a lot of their brothers and sisters, they ain't get ready in the courtroom to tell the God that is true. Fuck, nigga. Don't get it. Y'all think need to get fucking killed, bro. You snitching bitches. From me and wife. So, nigga, a lot of their mama, a lot of their kids, a lot of their brothers and sisters, they ain't get ready in the courtroom to tell the God that is true. Fuck, nigga. Don't get it. Y'all think need to get fucking killed, bro. You snitching bitches. From me and wife. Mr. Sledge, did you hear your voice? Yes. The voice of Mr. Jeffrey Williams and the face of Mr. Jeffrey Williams? Yes. Did you hear the voice of Mr. MacMiller? Yes. Did you hear the voice of Mr. Martinez, also known as Duke? Yes. Is it the same exact video that was played earlier as the repost? Yes. And on Jeffrey Williams number 256, I'd like you to tell the jurors, it's small writing, if you could read it to them, what date at the bottom right was this made? January 4th, 2015. And on January 4th, 2015, what was Jeffrey Williams' relationship like with Donovan Thomas from your personal observation? Objection, babe. Overruled. They had a great relationship. And does this video on January 4th, 2015 have anything to do from your own personal knowledge from being in it about um, Donovan Thomas or telling Threatening some witness or anything? No. One is compound, so I don't know which part of that he's asking about. And then the second part, he is speaking to the intent of Defendant Williams when he says, does it have anything to do with threatening some witness? Okay, Absolutely well, it's personal. his personal knowledge. And while Mr. Steele does ask long questions sometimes, he has a lot of clauses in there. I don't believe it was a compound question. It just had a lot of descriptive clauses. So overruled. So the indictment, and if you don't remember, we'll show it to you. No one's trying to keep anything from you. Says that this was done 16 days after the killing of Mr. Williams, that it was reposted. But this was made uh, six days before, God forbid, the killing of Mr. Thomas, right? Yes. Now, if you can look at the very top right-hand side, you see where it says watch, you, watch you, your post? Do you see that at the top? Yes. And then underneath it, it says watch your post, and then it says best said at MPA Duke, D-U-K-E-1, the number one, said it first, the three exclamation points. you see that? Yes. Who, to your knowledge, is M? 
P A Duke one. Mr. Arnold. Martinez Arnold? Yes. And, right. and then it says video by at Thugger Thugger One Pound YouTube Pound Young Thug Pound Thugger Thugger One Pound Urban Post. You see all that? Yes. Okay. And um, when it says best said at MPA Duke One said it first, that's Mr. Arnold. Yes. Saying it first. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sustained as to that. All right. Now, I want to ask the other questions if I can. Before January 4th, 2015, were you familiar with this type of statement? Yes. Now, if a witness, when it says at the end, the prosecutor said, um, y'all should be killed. Let me make sure I got, hold on one second. Y'all should be killed, and that's from me and YSL. Do you remember that? Yes. And if I didn't quote it perfectly, something to that effect? Yes. Okay. From being there and being a participant in this video, which is 256, Jeffrey Williams 256, um, what do you believe should happen to a witness who lies about someone in trial? Sustained. All right, let me ask you this. You were released from prison from the drive-by shooting. Remember, the jurors heard a lot about that, April 2015? Yes. And is it fair to say you were released in year 2019? Yes. And when you were released from prison, um, you, needed a, you needed a job, didn't you? Yes. Okay. You were financially um, um, depleted? You, you didn't have much money? No. All right. And is it fair to say that um, Jeffrey at that time was even more popular than he was in 2015? Yes. And um, did Jeffrey offer you a job? Yes. Was it conditional? Did you have to promise something? No. How about no more crime? N no. Are you withdrawing that objection? Did Jeffrey tell you you can't commit Objection. crimes? That right there is your set. Sustained. When you were on tour with Jeffrey and from your personal observations, I'm not asking you what other people said or anything, did you ever observe people um, who would um, steal from other people, from stores or anything like that, and Jeffrey would find out about it and repay those people. Okay, yeah. relevance. Sustained. Well, I think it's relevant. You're, you're the leader of a supposed organization. Do I object on the basis of whatever the speaking objection is about to be? I, I think it's relevant, more than relevant, to the conduct after this trial. It's and character. He's trying that's to not get into character. Sustained. All right. Do you remember seeing in the days before Donovan Thomas was killed? Do you ever remember seeing, um, personally seeing, Mr. Kenneth Copeland with an Infinity vehicle? No. Okay. When you um, drove Mr. Copeland to the police department on the early morning hours of January 11, 2015, is that true? Yes. And your uh, significant other, the, the mother of your child was with you as well as your youngest child at that time, right? He ain't my, he my youngest child, he my oldest son. Apologize. Okay. And um, Mr. Copeland didn't have a car there, right? That's why you drove him? Am I correct? He didn't have a car there. Do you remember at all whether... Uh, Mr. Copeland asked you to pick him up and drive him to Jeffrey Williams' house with you for safety. I don't, rem I don't remember that. Okay. Do you know how, as you sit here today, do you remember how Mr. Copeland, if you know, 
got to Jeffrey Williams' home on January 10th, 2015? I don't know. All right. Has Jeffrey ever paid for your lawyer fees? No. Has he ever paid for your bond? No. Your Honor. I believe except for the, you know, I have to break down yeah. the 62, which I probably can't do in a short period of time. I don't have any other questions. Okay. Well, so is your plan to. I'll try to do it um, with the course permission. I'll try to do it, Mr. Wright, and figure out if there's a, a quick way to get it through. I'm not going to speak with uh, Mr. Slate. I don't mean any disrespect. But I'll go through it. Your Honor, would the court permit outside of the jury's presence um, for the question to be placed upon the witness so that the court can hear? Sure. That's yeah, that make. may be a better way to do it. Okay. All right. So um, we are going to break for the day and for the weekend. And I am going to remind all of you uh, to not. Talk about the case with anybody. Don't let anybody talk about it with you. Um, you are only supposed to decide this case based on the evidence admitted inside this courtroom. So don't conduct any research on your own. Um, don't try to find out anything on the Internet or from uh, old school sources <laughs> or um, from other people, <laughs> from social media. Uh, don't do research about the law. Do not read, watch, listen to any accounts of this trial online, in print, television, otherwise, radio, social media, anything like that. Um, and leave your notes in the jury room, and we will see you on Monday at 9. Y'all have a great weekend. You stay here with us for a minute. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're going to ask you some more questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you better say something. I'm, I'm trying to go. <laughs> <laughs>
just spin say Spin around it. and show Miss yeah. Love. If I could this see is, it. This is a DMAC. Just spin around and show Miss Love. It'll be easier than trying to. Some people's names or tags or whatever are kind of hard to read out. If you have not seen this, just make it clear. If you have seen it, just make it clear. I'm just going to read it, okay? Okay. And it is, I'm just orienting myself. This is Mr. Williams' exhibit number. You can call it 255A. 255A. And it's down here. And it says, DMAC got me to banging at DMAC to banging. And you see the date? Yes. December 27, 2014? Yes. And I'm just, this is me, I'm not reading it verbatim, okay? And A-N, lie to they mama, brother, sister, and kids, but get to the courtroom and tell the God's honest truth, question mark, question mark, question mark. I don't get it. Or I I O N get it, hyphen at young thug. You see that? Yes. If you can remember, if you can, it's fine. And just tell us, do you have you seen that before this week? Have I seen it? That particular post. This week? No. Any oh, any time. This week. I can't even remember exactly what day I've seen it, but I don't seen this before. You that, have seen it before? Yes. Have you seen Judge, it Judge, is he talking about that? I, I, this have specific you seen post. D-Mac got to me, me too banging on December yes. 27th, that post? You yes. saw that post? I don't saw this post before. Right. Have you seen it before this week, just to make sure? Yes, yes. Okay. We're going to have to mark that. Um, can you pull up the one that says, um, that she dies? Do you know that one? I can't remember the exact term. What? Yeah. Do you care about this? Okay, so. <laughs> do you want Mr. Slip? I don't think that matters. Mr. Wright has brought it to my attention that um, he's now under subpoena, a state subpoena. Um, however, he is serving as um, Mr. Sledge's lawyer, and he's obviously been sitting in here, and I think it would be appropriate for him to continue to sit in here for the remainder of Mr. Sledge's testimony since he's serving as his lawyer. Is I the agree. state going to have any problem with that? Not at all. All right, and then y'all aren't going to make any kind of... Okay. All right. That's fine. Just wanted to clarify that. Okay. And is this like a cautionary potential subpoena or is he going to, I mean, are you going to let him know when you expect him to, he's, he's got other business, obviously, after he finishes as his attorney role, will you let him know when he needs to be back? Yes. Okay. I, yeah, yes. All right. That's the only reason I'm asking. Okay. All right. Are y'all ready with your next one? We'll just do the one then, Your Honor. Okay. Well, great. We're call it 225. Okay. And it'll just be that no, no, one. No, I said it wrong. 255. Two, two, five, five, just 255. Five. We'll call it 25 with the court's permission, and then we'll just start with that on um, whatever right. you tell us. All right. And it'll just be that one, and then and we'll, you we'll suspect rearrange you'll it. be pretty much done at that point. I actually turned the page. I have more, but yes, it's not much. I mean, It'll be 15 fine. minutes, okay. 20 minutes. All right. But I'm going to start with that, and we'll make it just one, like, exit, okay. you know, one thing. So we'll, we'll crop it. That works. So the only um, tweet now that is that 255 A consists of is DMAC to Bangin. There's no A, though. There's no yeah, way. it's not. It's just going to be two five five. Okay. But yes, is and, that right? And it's the se yeah, December twenty seven, two thousand fourteen. Okay. All right, thank you. That's the one we'll use. Okay. I just have one thing to note for the record. Okay, are we finished with Mr. Sledge for the day? Um, except Mr. Wright, I'd like to stay just for a minute. Okay, so are we finished with Mr. Sledge? I'm. Finish with him. He could say, I don't, whatever the court wants. But yes, I'm not okay. asking him any questions. You may step out and we'll see you at nine on Monday. Okay, thank you.
and I'm sure Mr. Wright will be out in a minute if you want to wait for it. So it's so it's not um, my desire to say that a, you know a prosecutor or any lawyer or anybody told someone don't say something in front of the uh, jury. Yeah. But um, you know, I cleared that with Mr. Wright, and I want the court to note that the state never put us on notice. It's not Brady because with due diligence, I found out about it. So I'm not saying it's a violation of Brady, but it's just not the way, if believed, it's not the way that I was uh, understand that lawyers conduct themselves. So I'm sure that Miss, uh, I wasn't there. I'm sure that Miss um, Love will say whatever she says, or maybe say that didn't happen. But as or maybe do, it didn't happen in quite that way, but. I, I, I let, don't know if Ms. Love wants to say anything. I just really want you to know that I cleared it with Mr. Wright beforehand. Um, and he was on the actual Zoom. So um, I just want you to know that I didn't just, I didn't speak with Mr. Sledge without Mr. Wright. So, okay. Okay. Thank you. Just a small follow up. Um, and of course, Mr. Wright will have the ability to say what Mr. Wright recalls, but I believe that Mr. Wright informed Mr. Steele before Mr. Steele asked that question that he has no recollection of that ever being stated by me to Mr. Sledge. But I'll let Mr. Wright speak for Mr. Wright. And I inquire, I, I know that I would not say that. So whatever Mr. Slash said, Mr. Slash said. I don't know how the question was posed. I don't, I don't, that's all right. It'll happen on redirect. We can flesh it out. But this notion about, I mean, all of that, you know, he, Mr. Steele can ask whatever questions he wants to ask. And Mr. Slash can answer however he feels he needs to. I'll handle that on redirect. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Of course not. I wouldn't ex never expect, of course, our sounds out again. But. but it was at least a hot topic that it wasn't something that I thought the state was going to go into. But I can't say I have a memory of her saying the specific instruction to Sledge that he remembers. Okay. But my client does, that's how he recalls it. So my client's not being untruthful in terms of... Well, we're not going to get we're not gonna get into whether you think he's truthful or not, because that wouldn't be appropriate. But you can say whatever you need to say when asked. Now, I appreciate you letting the court know and letting both sides know what it is that your recollection is. Yes, ma'am. All right. So do you think that Mr. Wright will be... Shortly on the heels of Mr. Sledge? Right on the heels. All right. So you should just plan to stick around then, and then hopefully we'll be able to release you after that. I'm not to be right on our Okay. Hopefully I'm here for you. All right. Anything else? Sounds out again. Maybe it's back. Is it back? Allegedly, y'all, they are coming early, early on Monday morning to replace either the entirety or something in 
this box. I think they've already tried several things. This is some new thing. We'll see, but. If I buy anything, will they reimburse me? What you mean? I Who is we? I said, Court I said, administration? They, I, yeah, they, the people that are responsible for this, will they reimburse me if I buy uh, Miss Love, I cannot guarantee anything like that. I am still trying to get reimbursed for stuff from like two years ago. So, I mean, I wouldn't hold your breath. I, I wouldn't do that. If you plan to buy something, it'll just be for the good of this trial. It won't be. No. <laughs> Honor, All right. Yes. You allowed um, me to continue, so I don't have to uh, ask the jurors to leave. But I made a motion. Oh yes, yes. And Mr. Thank Matthews you for reminded reminding me of that. And um, what happened was, and please check the record. But what I remember happening was Miss Love makes a speaking objection, comments, puts her own um, testimony before the jury, and states that. Um, the testimony that there's no evidence and, the t and it's already been proven. And I know that there's a strained relationship between um, Jeffrey Williams and Rich Homie Kwan. That is wrong. Rich Homie Kwan has given interviews shortly after January 10th, 2015, all the way up to 2024, consistently how close he and Jeffrey Williams are. The prosecution said that Je Rich Homie Kwan, his real name is Mr. Lamar that he was coming to court and he would be testifying and um, the prosecution did not call him. He was on a short list. He was under subpoena. They did not call him. I have a good faith belief. They didn't call him because, what? I'm sorry? Yeah, you need to speak. They, I, had, I have a good faith belief that the state did not call him because he gave exculpatory information about his relationship with Jeffrey Williams. So for the prosecutor to then say in front of the jury, and please check the record um, to make sure that what I'm saying is what was said by uh, Ms. Love, but I immediately um, would have uh, made this motion if you did not allow me to preserve it. And a lawyer can't tell the testimony. This is what happened. Br Brian Steele knows this. That, that is untruthful. In fact, I know the opposite. Uh-huh. All right. So my recollection is that Miss Love said that the evidence shows that after a certain date, one of the people in this picture no longer hung around Mr. Williams. Okay. Good. That's that, a closer. That is not true. Account. What the state was trying. They, they're, they're crazy theory, in my opinion, is that in the fall of 2014, Mr. Williams somehow cared about Rich Homie Kwan signing with a third party. His name is Mr. Brian Williams, which mm -hmm. is Birdman. Right. And somehow that, that because Donovan Thomas said, no, Mr. <laughs> Rich Homie Kwan, don't sign with Birdman, that Jeffrey Williams has now a motivation to kill Donovan Thomas. None of that comes out, and it's untruthful. As you saw, they are playing together, they being Jeffrey Williams and Rich Homie Kwan, on New Year's of Well, you know what? There are plenty of band members who play together and hate each other, so them playing together doesn't establish anything. But, um, yeah, that's all. Yeah. Um, so, Miss Love, um, you maintain that it is in evidence, so can you... That there was what part of the evidence and who said it? Yes, and I would ask if if the court has in front of it my exact words or if there's a way I to grab. Have okay, your exact words in front of me, but I'm sure we can get them by Monday. Okay, but it was it was. So what I was referring to was the testimony that has been given that after a certain date, at least one witness, there may have been two testify that the relationship between one person in that photograph and defendant Williams changed. Mm -hmm. I can definitely say that Mr. S uh, I can definitely say that 
apart from that testimony that the jury has already heard, personally, I definitely have a great faith basis okay, but that's for saying it, but that is not what I said. Evidence. I said what I I was referring to the second part of what was asserted by Do counsel. You know, um, which witness or witnesses it would have been? Because I think Miss um, Weaver's probably transcribed it, a good bit of this, and she's pretty fast. I'm happy to ask her to. I believe it would have been um, Mr. Thomas Senior, okay. who was asked about the relationship between one of the people in the photograph or having seen them All right. after a certain time and then or that it was strained. Like That's why I'm asking. And then I'm not certain whether Detective Dennis talked about it. Okay. Um, that I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to look back. Okay. Why, but, why don't you look back? I mean, did that, Mr. Thomas senior testify for any real length of time? I mean, would that be for easy? Day. Okay. That'd be easy enough for Miss Weaver to put together. I'd imagine Mr. And, Dennis testified for longer. Yes, All but right. maybe you could look at your notes on yeah. that and maybe pinpoint that more directly. And then I could ask Ms. Weaver, you know, with I some will. parameters. Maybe. And I'll also um, just check with the team because it's not not been a topic that has been discussed. So we've discussed those things anyway. And I can clarify because it was not. It was, uh, I think that was Miss Hilton's witness, so she probably have a better memory than me. But the reason that I asked exactly what I said is because I think I chose my words carefully before I said them. Okay. And, and I want to make certain of exactly what I said, and I want to point back to exactly what I was referring okay. to. Okay. And um, Miss Winfrey, over the weekend, will be kind enough to find us that little portion of Miss Love's um, <laughs> statement that resulted in Mr. Steele having a motion and saying, can I just bring it up later and me saying yes, and then we'll take all that up first thing on Monday. Okay. Thank you. And okay. the point is, a lawyer, I do remember the father attempting to say things like that, but he couldn't explain later photographs, whatever, that goes to wait. What? But the issue is a lawyer to tell a jury what the evidence is is testifying it's inappropriate your honor what i what i think was inappropriate was attempting to mislead the jury by asserting that a photograph that mr Steele was aware was taken or at least that particular concert or whatever that was not a december 2015 concert as he stated to Mr. Sledge, and Mr. Sledge said yes. Even after Mr. Steele put up the next flyer or whatever it was mm -hmm. and led Mr. Sledge by saying, this happened December 2014, that New was Year's actually Eve 2015. The, that was 2015. That was, it, it was going into 2015. The second one. So that was, was 2014? Yes. Okay. The first one was 2014. Okay. All of those. And so when Mr. Steele said, the reason that I said what, that I objected the way I did, is that Mr. Steele said that that posting that was defense exhibit. Um. So when people say New Year's Eve 2015, they actually mean December 31st, 2014? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. That's what they meant. So, Your Honor. But, and Your Honor, may I finish Excuse before he's allowed? May I finish this, before Mr. Okay, Steele is allowed? Yeah, yeah let's, let's see what Ms. Love was saying. Go ahead. So um, at the time that Mr. Steele put up the flyer and suggested before this jury that that flyer was for an event in December 2015. Yeah. That I objected because, and what I didn't say, what I wanted to say, which was he knows full well that wasn't December 2015, but I said that there has been evidence 
of something different. Okay. Well, that probably wasn't the best way to handle it. And, and if I'm, I'm not saying I did, but I may have misspoke. If I misspoke on a date, I wasn't doing it deliberately. And the objection is that shouldn't be 2015. Are you sure, Mr. Steele or Your Honor? I don't think that's 2015. Not, and the evidence that shows, don't excuse interrupt. me. Don't interrupt. And the evidence shows that there was no relationship. They weren't speaking. That's, that's the, what I'm complaining about. Yeah. That the, she said the evidence shows. Okay. I mean, that may I not have know been the I absolute see. best way to handle it. And I do wish that both of y'all, I mean, y'all clearly get under each other's skin and try to divorce from the case the fact that each of you is the attorney handling certain evidence or certain witness because honestly both of you probably would do your tasks for your clients better if you could focus a little less on the fact that y'all get on each other's nerves okay i mean you do not have to uh, it does not have to be like a gladiator fight every time anybody says anything when it's the two of you it doesn't come off well for anybody honestly so that's just my two cents worth Thank you, Your Honor. I'd also like to say that every evidentiary that, objection does not need to be made, even if it's a valid one. So think about that, too. Yes, All Your right. Honor. Anything else? Um, Your Honor, just that I, I, I'll i just await Ms. Winfrey's okay. snippet. Okay. 